Hello, amazing artist. We have just finished reading Wilma and the Worry Machine, and now we're getting ready to create our worry controller. So to do this, we're gonna draw a remote control and I'll show you how to draw it. And then it's gonna be your job to decide what buttons you need on it and label those buttons. So on our worry controller, we're gonna have all of the things that we can control because this is our remote control for worries. So on here, we're gonna have a button for all of our worries that we have that we know that we can control. Um, it has to be a universal controller. That means it has to be able to control a bunch of different kinds of worries. Probably need a power button, a mute button, maybe, um, an up and down button, like a, pot, a plus sign and a minus sign like controllers have. Um, and all the buttons should probably have a label, that way we know what they're for. And it has to be kind of small, like I wanna be able to hold it in one hand and maybe even take it with me. So let's get started, I'm gonna draw it with you. Even though you might have some things on your controller that I don't have on mine. But um, I'll draw it together and then I'll start labeling mine and then you can finish up labeling yours. All right, so I'm gonna start drawing my controller just by drawing a rectangle. And I know a rectangle starts with two parallel lines. I don't want it to be too big because remember I want it to be able to fit in my hand if I cut it out and take it somewhere. So, like I said earlier, your controller must have a power. So I'm gonna put my power button right here and I'm gonna label it power. Or maybe a volume. Maybe just a mute. I'm going to start adding my worry buttons. Something I worry about or used to worry about when I was in school was my grades. So I don't know if you worry about your grades, but if you do, you should add a little button for my grades. Okay. Because I'm putting those on my controller because I can control my grades, right? I can control how much I study. I can control if I decide to retake a test or just leave my grade the same. The next thing I used to worry about was kind of the same as the character in our book, and that's lunch. So I'm gonna label this one lunch. You might worry about something else. You might not worry about lunch. I was always worried about what we were gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna make another button right here and another button right here and another button right here and another button right here. I can finish. You can finish labeling all of your buttons. Okay, maybe you worry about your family or maybe you have a pet that you worry about sometimes or maybe you worry about animals, or maybe you worry about pollution. So whatever you worry about, write that on your buttons, or you could even draw a little picture inside on your button. After that, you can color your remote control. So now that I'm done with my remote control, if I am feeling worried about my grades, I can push grades and then mute. And now all of my worries are on mute. Or if I'm only feeling a little bit worried about lunch, I can just click on lunch and turn that worry down a little bit with my minus button. Now, I know some of you like to play video games. And if you want to draw a video game controller, that's fine too. I'll show you how to draw one of those. My video game controller has a little hump in the middle like this. And then it has another hump that comes along like this. 
and it has a line that might come over like that and the same thing on the other side. And then you might have something like that. All right. And now we might have a power button somewhere on here. Maybe right here might be our power button. Volume button over here. And then it might have some worry buttons over here. Maybe this is grades. Maybe this is lunch. Maybe this is weather. Maybe, um, I don't know what else you guys worry about. This could be family. Um, what else? We might need a mute button. Okay, maybe you have some more worries over here. And then you can color your uh, game controller. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you had fun. I hope that this kind of helps you with your worries. You don't have to do both controllers, just put whichever one that you wanna do. I did the game one because I know a lot of us like to play video games and for some of us, we might just want to do that one. Some of, some of us might like to watch more TV, so we might just want a regular TV looking controller. Um, I hope this helps you control your worries a little bit because then you can click on whatever is worrying you, like maybe lunch, and just turn your worry down a little bit or just put it on mute so it's not even worrying you anymore. Um, if you want to cut your controller out and take it with you places or carry it around. That's completely up to you, but I hope this helps you and I will see you next week with another awesome project. Bye guys.